Hey guys, here is another video to show you how to get folder size using PowerShell. So this time I have shortened the script to just one line. Uh, the idea behind the script is it is exactly the replica of du-sh command in Linux. It's not the exact replica, but uh, that's the expectation which I wrote the script. So if you are new to PowerShell and if you are less experienced then no worries you just need to copy paste this command so this first command will give the output size in mb and the second command which gives the output in gb so let me show you an example by running it in the powershell so this is the version of the powershell which i am running the script i have copied it i am pasting the same so this is how the output looks in your system and if you see that there is something called false false and true so this is because I want uh, the folder size which is greater than 200 MB so in this case uh, only this met con condition so you may be feeling it very clumsy you can't uh, go through each one and see which is true or false so that's the reason I have we have this uh, um, output which can show you by searching it here so the same thing for GB which I'm going to run again just copy and paste it I will put this in my description you can just copy it paste it in your system so I have copied it and this is for GB same thing if I put true 0 0.49 GB which was actually 500 MB in our old uh, the previous script so the another only thing which the new users have to learn in the script is just modifying the size so this is where I have defined the size so it is greater than 200 MB then put it as true and here I have given 0 0.1 GB so you can modify it according to your need apart from that you don't have to change anything in the script so if you are an uh, user uh, curious to learn how this work I will explain it now but it's not required to watch this video if you are a new user you can just copy and paste the script from the description in this YouTube video okay let's go on to the explanation so this get child item is the command let to get the uh, list of files in your uh, the current directory so if, if you just run this command so this is uh, the running in virtual machine so it's taking time for me to switch between the notepad and virtual machine so if you see here it will gives me all the current files I can show you in uh, my explorer so it gives exactly the same thing You can see MATLAB, app data, not sure why it did give the app data, so we can ignore that, but uh, that's how it works. So if I go on the next command. So I am uh, creating the filter here. I just only need a folder. So that is the uh, uh, short form in PowerShell which says PSI content which means folder. And for all the, it, if you give uh, uh, dollar underscore, so it will iterate for each item that is written from this commandlet. And next, again, it will go for each folder. Uh, I am concatenating. So if you see here, I have plus and i have another plus i have another plus so actually uh, first it will get the name of the folder and concatenate with the size so to get the size of the folder 
this this uh, particular uh, command that is being used so what it does is it will recurse into the folder and get each file size and i will uh, sum uh, i will add the size of the file and divided by 1 mb so i am converting to the size to mb so plus mb is just concatenating to the word mb you can put any word here and again i am running the same commandlet which i used here but this time i i am returning it to uh, true or false so if i give greater than 200 it will automatically return either the output will be true or false so if you see look closely we have a uh, four four columns one two three four this is the folder name and this is the size and this is the gb uh, which i have mentioned in my script so it is taking this word this letter gb and uh, i am concatenating with true or false so actually i try to make each in separate column but uh, i am not able to do that successfully so that is the reason i am doing is out grid view in that way you can filter it based on true or false so if i made it in each of this output in a separate separate column i can directly filter using the powershell which i am working on it i will share that if i get completed so for now you can use this method to get your output thanks for watching this video